Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda and I post a new video one to two times a week all about encouragement, motherhood, crafting along with me as I build my small business and some cooking and baking as well. Also, let's address the elephant in the room in case you're wondering, no, I didn't get punched in the eye. <laughs> Although I wouldn't be surprised between having two kids, a big dog and a kind of mean cat. But no, I didn't get punched. I have a sty in my eye for the second time in like two months. I had one just recently too, <sighs> but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I, I had to go out today and run some errands and I had to get new mascara and mascara primer and new eyeliner. That's the, I find that's the suckiest thing about having a sty in your eyes that you have to throw out all of your eye product I don't throw away like eyeshadow or anything and I don't wear that stuff a lot anyways, but like you can't go back and just use the same eyeliner that was touching where your sty was and mascara and all that stuff because it's just gross. So had to go out and purchase some of that for when this clears up, but yeah, in case you're wondering, hopefully it'll be cleared up soon. Mine usually don't last too long. It should be cleared up in the next like two to three days. That's the hope. But yeah, anyways, so back to the point of the video today, not my eye. Anyways, so in today's video, I am making a macrame baby teether pacifier clip. <laughs> um, I haven't done a macrame video in a while and the last one, surprisingly, uh, that I did has been my best video on YouTube yet. And so with that, I thought I would make another one since it seemed to be the most popular so far. So I am making one of these little guys. So this is again, a baby wooden teether with a pacifier clip on the one end. What I will like about it is that um, of course it's wooden on the outside, so it looks nice. It's not just metal, but when you clip up, clip it onto the baby's bib or the clothing, it's, um, it's coated in plastic. So the metal, it's not sharp metal that's going to ruin their clothing. So I really like that. Um, these are from Amazon. I think you get a pack of 10 for about $14. And then I usually do white, like an, uh, a creamy ivory macrame cord for all of the baby products that I do. But since this is kind of a boyish baby pacifier, I thought I would use this forest olive toned green macrame cord. I thought it would be very fitting, um, a nice different but neutral color. Um, as opposed to just the white that I always use. And I think it turned out really pretty. I added this little wooden bead, and then we have the little car wooden um, teether, also from Amazon. They're all, of course, safe to chew on. They're all baby safe. Um, and I got these, I think about 10 or 12 of them in a pack from Amazon. I've used up almost all of them. I only had the car left and a little tooth as well. So these were the only two I had to work with today um, before I go ahead and purchase more from Amazon. So I hope that you will follow along and make this baby pacifier clip teether with me. Okay guys, so we are going to be starting on our macrame wooden baby teether. So it's also a clip as well. So I have a pack of these from Amazon. I think it comes in a pack of, uh, let's see, 10 pieces. I can't remember the price on them. Probably like 14 or $15. I have to get more, apparently I have one left. Um, yeah, and they're really good quality. I had gotten a pack of wooden teethers from Amazon as well. I've used up most of, most of them, so at this point I only have two left to show you for examples. 
Um, I have a little car, which is really cute for a little baby boy, and then a tooth as well. Um, I've already used up the others. There's so many you can find, but the pack I bought had an elephant, a turtle, a kitten, a heart, uh, a camel, a couple other animals as well. Really cute pack. So I've used up all those and these are my two left. So today I thought I would make a baby boy one with this little car wooden teether. I have gone ahead and cut my cords already. So you will need two cords total. And I did both of mine at seven feet each. You probably won't need that much, but I always do a little bit extra as I've probably mentioned in past videos, it's always better to have too much than too little. And even the little scraps that you cut off at the end, you can always save to do smaller projects. And at some point I'll be doing another video using um, smaller macrame cord to make a, uh, a car diffuser. So that will be coming up at some point, hopefully in the near future. So we are going to get started with this. So first thing we're gonna do is take our first cord, fold it in half, and then you'll find the middle of the fold. Put it in through, sorry, this hole here. I have to keep remembering as I'm doing this to hold it up to the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And then Pull it through, just like that. Perfect. Pull it tight. Great. And then there's not enough room in here to put the second, like loop the second one through. If you had a one millimeter cord, you might be able to do both. This one isn't quite big enough to do that. Um, this is a, uh, a three millimeter cord, so it's a little too thick. So what we do instead to attach the second cord on is take your second cord, again, fold it in half, just like the first one, and then take your fold, and right in the middle where that fold is, you're going to put it directly underneath the first cord. Make sure it's right at the middle, the middles are together. Hold it down with your finger as you fan the pieces out. Sorry, I'm gonna to try to turn this so it's facing you guys. Okay, so like that, it's just kind of sitting underneath right now. And then we're gonna do, which I've shown you in my past videos, if you don't know how to do a square knot, there are many tutorials out there. Um, I also show you a basic square knot in my last macrame video. I will try to remember to link it below. Um, but if you head over to my channel, um, it's my macrame keychain wristlet tutorial. And I show you how to make that basic square knot on there. So that's what we're going to do to attach these two together so that this won't go anywhere. So of course, we're going to take the left side cord, loop it over, the two middles to make the number four and then take your right side cord put it over top of the the left one and then loop it underneath the two middle cords pull it through this hole here pull it up through and then take the two end pieces on either end Pull tight while holding the two middle cords down. Just like that, and I'll hold it up to show you. So now we've attached the two cords together so that that isn't going anywhere. And then we're gonna complete it, complete the actual square knot by doing the same thing but reversed. So taking our right side cord putting over the two middle cords to make the number four, take your left cord, place it over top. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. And then bring it underneath all of the cords. 
Sorry, it's all moving on me, so it's hard to keep steady. And then take your two outside cords, pull them tight. Just like that. And then there's your completed square knot there. I hope that's coming into focus. It's not, come on. There we go. So that's our completed square knot to hold both the cords together. Now you could go either way with this. We can either do um, a spiral pattern like I did with my first tutorial with the keychain wristlet. But in this case, we're gonna do something a little different and we're going to continue doing basic square knots all the way down. We might add, I think I'm gonna add a wooden bead halfway through and then continue on with square knots all the way down. So this one's a very simple pattern. There are many out there that get much more complex. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm still learning those. There's uh, many pacifier clips out there and teethers where you see like a diamond shape zigging, like zigzag in and out like that. Um, I'm still perfecting that look. I don't want to create those and sell those unless I really have that down. So for now, I'm sticking with this um, and I just get creative with uh, putting beads in here and there and different teethers and things like that in different colors. So, so we're gonna carry on with square knots. We'll probably do about maybe seven of them and then we'll stop and we'll add a wooden bead. And then of course I always suggest when you're, when you're working with um, making any macrame piece that's very lightweight like this to once you have the first knot down to tape it down to your surface makes it a lot easier to do the rest. have done about eight knots here and now I'm going to stop and put in a bead so I have it doesn't really matter which cord you choose but I try to choose one of the two middle ones and I've already put a peach of ooh, wow there we go <laughs> um, I've already put on a peach a piece of scotch tape onto the end which makes it a lot easier to put the bead on because otherwise if you don't the yarn just phrase <laughs> and it's really frustrating to get it through the bead especially if it's a thicker yarn so we're just going to put the bead on like that look how cute and then we're going to continue on and do about eight more and at this point i would also um, switch up your cords to save cord so that these pieces on the outside don't continue to get shorter and these in the middle continue to stay really long so adding a bead is a really good time afterwards to switch the cords, make these your outside cords and these ones your inner cords. And that way the, the ones on the outside that keep getting shorter and shorter don't eventually run out on you. So again, after adding a bead, that's a good time to switch it up and they all get equally short as you go on.
Here, I'll hold it up for you because it's hard to see <laughs> from that far away, all the detail. So here's our macrame knots, cute little bead, and equal amounts macrame knots on the end. Really simple but cute. So now we're going to add on our wooden teether. So you're going to take your teether, which has the hole in the center, and you're just going to loop all your cords through that. And then you're going to loop them up in front like that. And you'll need um, probably two good inches of space between the end of your macrame knots and the teether itself. We're going to do a gathering knot right here, which is what you would um, normally do at the top of a plant hanger. Um, I will try my best to uh, walk you through that. If you want an even more in-depth tutorial, there's lots of tutorials out there. Just look up gathering knot. Um, and again, a lot of plant hanger videos will come up because that's where they're most used. Um, but we're going to use it on this to ensure that this stays nice and attached, doesn't fall out while baby is chewing on it, nice and safe. Okay, so what we're going to do as well to really ensure that this doesn't come off into baby's mouth is just do a basic knot with all of the cords. So I'm going to grab the whole chunk and just make a quick little knot. like that. That way we've really secured it on. So now it's tied on. And then I'm going to do the gathering knot with the remaining. So I can go ahead now and, okay, so then we're going to pull up, we're going to take all these cords, gather them all together, make a gathering knot here, and then this will be nice and secured on. So first, we don't need all of this extra cord hanging, so you could take a piece of this to make the gathering knot. I'm gonna take a fresh piece just in case. So it doesn't have to be very long. I've cut mine about not even two feet in length. But again, more is better just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna hold all of these cords together in my hand up to where it meets the end of my macrame knots that I've done. We're gonna take this cord, this one that we've just cut. It's gonna be hard because the cord is dark in color and I don't have too much light working with me today, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, okay, so to start your gathering knot, you're gonna take the end of your new string and lay it over top of your, your gathered knots here in your hand. Lay it right, like right above the end of your macrame knots. And then you're gonna make a little loop at the bottom to where your teether is. Loop it back up towards where the end of it is. Like that, so you have a little loop sitting on top of all of your gathered strings here. Okay, and then what you're gonna do, hold everything in your one hand. I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna hold it in my right hand. And then I'm gonna take my my extra string that I just cut and I get the excess out of the way. Okay, and then I'm gonna just start wrapping it around, um, starting at the end of your macrame knots and just wrap that separate string all around really tight until it reaches the teether. And I hope I'm explaining that right. <laughs> So just wrapping around as tightly as you can and as closely together as you can. Do you see that? So there's not big gaps in between where you're wrapping it. Hopefully I made this cord long enough. I hope so. This is why I make it, I cut it longer than what I think I should have, just in case. Okay, okay, so then when you're at the end of your spiral cord, you're gonna place it through that loop that we started with, just like that, and then take the top of the extra cord, 
right here, and you're gonna pull it through, and you will begin to see the loop at the bottom. Oh, hold on. Try to show you there. See the loop, it's disappearing. You wanna pull until that loop that we started with is all the way inside of this spiral we made. And that ensures that all of your cords are not gonna go anywhere and the T there. Don't pull, once it's inside, you don't wanna pull, like continue because then it will just, <laughs> it will actually eventually um, come out the other side and like it will ruin your gathering knot. So you want it just inside the, the spiral cord. And once it's in there, nothing's going anywhere. So now you have made a successful gathering knot. And then of course you've got these extra bits at the end that you don't want there. So the two extra frays at either end of cord, you're just gonna cut off. And don't worry, that won't loosen anything. That just gets rid of the excess that you don't need. And then we're gonna also cut off all of these extra cords that we don't need. And that's why I always do extra because you can totally use these to make many other macrame projects. They're not too short that they can't be used. Please do keep them because again, there will be another tutorial coming for a card diffuser and short cords are perfect for that project. So lots of things you can do with extra cord that you don't always know what to do with. Okay, so I've trimmed them all up. Just gonna clean up a little bit here. Get rid of the tape. <laughs> and this is our completed baby teether clip. I love it. I really like the color that we went with. It's very boyish and cute, but simple. I like the little bead we added. We could always do, you could always do two of them or you don't have to do a bead at all. And then we've got the gathering knot to ensure that this teether is not gonna go anywhere when baby's chewing on it and pulling on it. Our teether, let me know what you guys think. Try this out. Um, let me know how it worked out for you. Um, or if you have found, found other patterns you could do in your macrame cord that maybe I haven't thought of before, I would love to know your ideas. And I hope that you guys give this a try. If you guys are interested in purchasing a baby teether or a baby pacifier clip that is not a teether, you can, I have linked it for you. Um, you can visit my Etsy shop, Thrive by Amanda. I have an Instagram page as well that's also called Thrive by Amanda. And I sell these and post about different colors and different objects that I make with these. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. It really means a lot to me that you take time out of your day to spend it here with me on my channel. If today's video interested you, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that of course you like this type of content. You would like to see more macrame videos and small business videos. I would love to do more for you. And of course you can subscribe and follow along with me on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye guys. Thank you.